the Crusades, a series of religious wars that shaped the Western world. We often see images of zealous knights in shining armor, banners of the cross raised high. But beneath that noble veneer lies a brutal reality. Were these truly men driven by pure faith, or were they bloodthirsty conquerors hiding behind religion? We often assume the Crusades were a cynical power grab aimed at expanding European empire. However, history is rarely that simple. To understand the motivations behind centuries of bloody campaigns, we must travel back to a time when fear gripped Christendom. A time of intense religious devotion, when violence had a twisted sanctity, and whispers of an approaching apocalypse stirred men's souls. The Crusades were fueled by reports of Christian suffering in the Holy Land, tales of pilgrims attacked and a holy city desecrated. This was a world where a life of battle could earn you entry into heaven itself. Was this then a holy war, or a brutal campaign draped in the guise of piety? Let's peel back the layers and decide for ourselves. In the year 1009, a terrifying act shattered the Christian world. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the most sacred site in Jerusalem, was destroyed by the Fatimid Caliph. Rumors spread like wildfire. Pilgrims to the Holy Land, once protected, now faced harassment, imprisonment, even death. Christians living under Muslim rule in Spain groaned under harsh religious laws, forced conversions, and humiliating restrictions. It was a dark echo of centuries of conflict. Europe itself was a simmering pot of violence. Knights and lords constantly waged petty wars amongst themselves. Bloodshed was familiar, its brutality normalized, and in these hardened men, there lurked a gnawing fear. The belief in purgatory, an agonizing weight before heaven, could only be shortened by fighting for God. To attack those deemed enemies of the faith became a warped path to the salvation they desperately craved. Meanwhile, tales of the approaching apocalypse stoked panic among the faithful. In a world steeped in religious conviction, these threats to Christianity ignited a dangerous mix of piety and desperate, simmering rage. The stage was set, the tinder was dry, all Europe needed was a spark. In 1095, that spark came in the impassioned speech of Pope Urban II. Calling forth knights and commoners alike, he painted a horrific picture of Christians slaughtered in the East holy sites desecrated by savage Muslims. This wasn't merely a defense of faraway lands. Now, the faith itself was under siege. Fear of an approaching apocalypse heightened the urgency. People believed acting against the enemies of Christ could avert the end times. It was a chilling and compelling vision. Europe's kings and lords saw opportunity in this religious fervor. For centuries, they had spilled blood against each other. Now, a common enemy united them, drawing their destructive energy outward. It was a powerful rallying cry. Protection of the faith offered a chance for political consolidation and spiritual absolution, all in one. For knights, peasants, and even criminals, the promise resonated deeply. In answering the Pope's call, they weren't simply going to war, they were embarking on a holy pilgrimage fueled by an explosive mix of faith, terror, and ambition. The Crusades unleashed a wave of horrifying violence that stains the pages of history. Yet it's crucial to remember that the Crusaders genuinely believed their actions were righteous. This was an era where the line between warrior and monk was blurred. Knights battled with sword in one hand and crucifix in the other. To them, this wasn't conquest, but divine cleansing. Their enemies were deemed subhuman, demonic forces hindering God's will. This justified unimaginable brutality. Cities were sacked, not just conquered. Holy relics were sought with a fervor bordering on mania. Even amidst the chaos, crusaders meticulously observed religious rituals, believing victory depended on God's favor. It's a stark and unsettling contradiction. Men fueled by religious zeal, capable of immense cruelty. We recoil at their bloodlust, yet for them, their holy war was salvation. Their swords cut across lands and centuries, shaping the complex relationship between Christianity and Islam that haunts us even today. To paint the Crusades as purely about faith would be a disservice to history. Undoubtedly, religious conviction ignited the fire, but other flames licked at the edges. For some, the allure of adventure was undeniable. Peasants sought escape from crushing poverty, criminals a chance at redemption. Knights with little inheritance saw potential for plunder and land in the East. And it's naive to ignore the economic undercurrents. The Crusades, however indirectly, cracked open trade routes that benefited European merchants. Yet, while greed and personal gain certainly existed, 
they were always wrapped in the justification of God's will. Blaming the Crusades solely on the hunger for empire misses the bigger picture. At their core, they were ignited by a fervor so deeply held that it defied modern understanding. Ultimately, there were many more Crusaders who lost all their possessions, and even their lives, because of the belief that they were doing God's will and fighting for Christendom. The Crusades stand as a stark reflection of humanity's dual nature, our potential for profound devotion and, paradoxically, for extreme violence. These historic expeditions were sparked by deeply troubling events, the deliberate destruction of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the harsh treatment of pilgrims en route to Jerusalem, and the oppressive laws imposed upon Christians under Muslim governance in Spain. Driven by a fervent desire to protect and reclaim what was sacred to them, the Crusaders embarked on their mission. However, in their zeal, they often mirrored the very acts of mistreatment and aggression that had initially compelled them to take up arms, thus fueling a relentless cycle of violence and deep-seated resentment. This narrative not only illustrates the complexity of human motives and actions, but also serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring consequences of such conflicts. Judging the Crusaders exclusively through a modern lens obscures the complexity of their motivations. Their world was shaped by an escalating sense of vulnerability. It's easy to condemn their barbarity, but far more challenging to grapple with the context that drove it. The Crusades weren't mainly about expansion, they were a defense, some would say misguided and brutal, but fueled by genuine belief in protecting their faith and its followers. Those who answered the call saw themselves as holy warriors, not conquerors. Could the Crusades have been avoided? Perhaps. If there was no response to Islamic expansion, what would have been the fate of the Christian world? <laughs>